for the Rogers View. We are here at Shirley 42. And we have the man who is behind the enterprise, Dr. Fogox himself, John Billingsley. Very good. I got it right. How are you doing today? I'm well. The gentleman yesterday called me John Billingsby. You so should be I fired. Had to make sure that you got my name right, and you did. Absolutely. Now you can ask any question you want. You now you're in my good graces. Absolutely. This is like your third shore leave or far point. You have been to many of the conventions in the DMV. What makes you come back time after time again? Technically, this is my second. My wife came once without me, yeah. Yeah. but she brought my action figure, so that counts probably as a half an appearance. Absolutely. And I always love coming to conventions, so anytime I'm free, I'm happy to attend. I'm actually replacing Robbie Duncan McNeil mm -hmm. this weekend. They called. I was sitting around in my underpants watching the Dodgers game. I was like, sure. What else am I going to do this weekend? Oh, absolutely. And the best part, um, you've been a part of the Star Trek franchise, but you've also been part of the Orville franchise because that you acted against another fellow Star Trek doctor, Robert Picardo. So how does it feel for the, the two of you to play it off against each other in home? I love Bob Picardo. He's such a dear and a dear, dear friend of mine, so it was a great treat to do that episode. Plus, I got to torture him, <laughs> which to know Bob is to want to torture him. Mm -hmm. And to know that you're going to get tortured in return. Yes, I got to plunge Bob. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen the episode, spoiler alert. I got to... Okay, spoiler alert. I'm not fucking around. I got to plunge Bob's hand into a, a hot, boiling pot of soup. Yes, I Yes, I did. That was a fun. And I understand that you actually done some work for a charity, the Hollywood Food Coalition. I want you to tell our friends about that. And once again, you got the name right. Kudos to you. Thank you. Yes, I was the president of the board of the Hollywood Food Coalition, an organization I've been involved with for about six years. I currently am the chair of their development committee. We are about 37 years old, and we started as an organization that helped provide a hot meal and additional services to people experiencing homelessness. We've grown into an organization that also rescues approximately 2 million pounds of food a year. Wow. And we share it with about 100 other not-for-profits all over L.A. County. Mm -hmm. Basically, we try and augment and buttress existing social service programs, meal programs. So for instance, we provide food to battered women's shelters, to drug and alcohol rehabilitation centers, mm -hmm. to organizations that work with at-risk uh, street kids, etc., etc. And lastly, we also help sit at a lot of different tables with other groups attempting to figure out what are the systemic problems and how can we collectively help address hunger as a coalition. How do we address refrigeration needs, transportation needs, storage needs, getting food to underserved communities, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hollywood Food Coalition, and you can check us out at hofoco.org. And at the risk of going on too long, I would also say that we throw an annual fundraising event called Trek Talks. Mm. And we'll be doing that again in January. It's a digital fundraising campaign, sort of an, a Jerry Lewis-esque telethon. Oh, wow. Six hours. <laughs> And last year's, you can check it out on YouTube, Trek Talks. Uh, you can find it under Trek Geeks. And uh, can't wait to do it again. 50 or so guests, uh, six hours of panels, great fun. Wow. And uh, last year we made 80 grand. That's amazing. Yeah. My last question is this. For those fans who have never attended a science fiction convention, what advice would you give them? Um, practice your drinking skills. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is I, true. <laughs> I would say that the convention itself on the, uh, on the floor mm -hmm. during the day is great fun. But the real hurly-burly is in the evenings when you can party hop, mm -hmm. starting in the ho a hotel bar and wending your way through the labyrinthine number of private bashes that are taking place in the hotel proper. Sunday morning, if you were to look around you, you would see a lot of desiccated, hungover people. Mm -hmm. I am amongst that cohort now. And I can vouch for that. John, thank you so much. And where can we find you on social media? I am jbillingsley60 on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a Facebook presence, although I'm not really very active on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram. I did yesterday make my first TikTok video oh, wow. singing Some Enchanted Evening. And here's a little taste of that. Some enchanted evening. For the rest, you'll have to go to TikTok.
Yeah, absolutely. You have to go to TikTok and don't forget to check us out at therogersreview.com. R E V U E for review. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and like this video and subscribe to our channel because we got more content from Shoreleave42. Bye for now, folks. Bye.